I'm uh, delighted to have uh, the opportunity in, uh, in a few minutes and a few words to, to effectively uh, say a few words on the uh, ABF priorities. But I'd like to, uh, to start uh, to say a few words to, uh, to Christian. Because, um, as you know, Christian uh, took over as chairman uh, of the EBF in uh, 2011. And I think it, it was not, uh, we cannot imagine a, a, a worse period to take over uh, such a responsibility uh, on top, of course, of managing uh, Nordea. And I think Christian has done a, a fantastic job uh, to make uh, this uh, institution uh, a well-respected, uh, uh, a trustworthy partner for uh, the regulators, the governments, the different political authorities. And I must say, uh, uh, not only he has succeeded to manage Nordea very well in, in this uh, difficult situation, but again, he has really uh, improved uh, the profile of uh, the EBF. A and I must say, in my view, uh, it's not just because he's a, a very uh, talented banker, but I think because uh, He's a, a, a good guy. And what I mean by this, when you think about uh, everything related, again, to ethic and, uh, and conduct and uh, client centricity, I think, at least that's my view, because I've spent some time with Christian, that is uh, really someone who is uh, focusing on client and who has a, a very strong ethic. So congratulations, Christian, and, and I think he deserves our applause. So I'll take, over, uh, I'll take over on the beginning of 2015, and effectively we have um, decided about uh, a few uh, core priorities for the EBF, precisely to maintain our profile and this uh, trust uh, in, our, in our body. Uh, in, a, as we've said, a period of time which might be a, a slightly different one with, of course, uh, the implementation of this uh, banking union, and, as we've said previously, uh, the need also to look at the impacts of the regulation. May I say that the first one relates to also what we discussed, which is um, how, we can, how can we ensure uh, the financing of the economy? How we, can we participate to a better uh, efficiency of this uh, single market? We've, uh, we've described all the regulatory uh, agenda which has taken place uh, in the last uh, few years, which was uh, uh, rightfully uh, designed to make the system more resilient, to ensure the end of the too big to fail issue. Uh, but there are still some, uh, some issues as we've also dis discussed. And uh, the, the key question in particular when you look at Europe and, and the Eurozone, uh, the, the need to have, as I've said, also uh, a more consistent financing of the economy, in particular the SMEs, but also, as we all know, uh, the long-term financing, which is going not only for Europe, but for the world as a whole, a critical issue. When you think about growth, a lot will have, should come from the emerging markets, and in the emerging market, a lot of the issues to have growth, or more growth, and more consistent is, of course, related to the quality of the infrastructure, the quality of the energy financing. So there's a lot, I think, to be done there, and we, as the EBF, would like to be uh, very much involved in, uh, in the capacity to measure precisely how the regulatory framework can be of support or, on the, con on the contrary, an obstacle to a, a, a right financing of the economy. May I say also that, as you know, the European Commission, the new European Commission, has set up as a top priority the uh, single and unified uh, capital market in Europe. And I think it's a very important thing. We've had, in the last few years, we've seen a fragmentation. And we should think about something which should be much more integrated. If we want to take advantage, of course, of the capacity of savings in this, uh, in this region of the world, and we have a capacity to finance the economy, and we should ensure that precisely the flow of saving goes, goes to the economy to create jobs. And I think as part of that, uh, we should also uh, precisely more and more try to convince the regulator that uh, Europe cannot 
uh, cannot think about growth without having not only a resilient, but also a competitive and profitable banking system. And uh, we should think about this banking system as part of the real economy. We are the real economy. We should not think ourselves as separate of that. So we are going to be very much engaged. And I think our role should be more and more to try to, with very concrete examples, very concrete examples, show exactly what is taking place on the ground. So that, of course, governments, gov uh, the, the commission, and the regulators can assess to what extent precisely what has been decided has been rightly calibrated. That's the first and probably the most important uh, part of our agenda because as we all know, the support in the European project is also directly related to having, if not a strong, at least a decent growth. The second one is of course uh, regarding uh, supervision and the SSM. And here the ambition of the EBF is really to be a key partner. When I say this, it's a key partner, of course, for this new regulator, which I think has the willingness to engage in a regular and strong dialogue with the industry. And of course, uh, we should be there, and we consider that the EBF is the right institutional channel to have this dialogue. But beyond that, we should also think that the existence, the creation of this new regulator will have an impact, of course, on the regulators and the countries which are not yet part or will never maybe be part of that SSM, but which will be inspired by the way also of this new regulator, the way this new regulator will deal with supervision and, and implementation of regulation. And of course, given uh, the importance of, of the UK and London as a financial center, also ensure that there is precisely uh, a, a good uh, a way of looking at uh, the way the two regulators in the Eurozone and the UK look at similar issues. And I think there's a lot in common. Uh, we, we share, uh, even if, if again, we are not going to depend uh, on the same uh, regulator, there are a lot of common issues that we should focus on. Uh, some of them are uh, regarding regulation. I'm thinking just about how to maintain a risk-based model. You know the, the risk-weighted asset will be a, a still a, an important topic for the Basel Committee, and I should thank that we can share common views between uh, the UK and continental and uh, Europe. But you can have also uh, other uh, issues such as uh, financial instruments. Uh, a lot is being told about, about uh, regarding securitization. And I think here we have also, for example, we should have common views. And I think there is uh, no uh, institution which is better positioned than the EBF to precisely ensure this coordination and try to forge consensus within the industry in these three different fields, as I've said, uh, the, the countries depending on the SSM, uh, the uh, countries uh, part of continental Europe, which we are not depending on the SSM, and of course the UK regulator. The third item that we have selected as a core priority is uh, reputation and conduct. It is clearly an item uh, which uh, is at the heart of the priorities of the different regulators in the world. We should admit there is more work to be done there even if, of course, uh, a lot of the, the fines we uh, hear about might come from uh, previous behaviors. But may I just say that as any CEO, uh, I know that it is a core issue. We've spoken about trust. Needless to say, a reputation is uh, aligned with uh, this capacity to maintain trust. And we, uh, uh, as CEOs, paying a lot of attention to that. So I would say the, the capacity also uh, within the EBF to, uh, to uh, exchange best practices, to propose a way, uh, a ways to deal with these matters, to make progress, to take initiatives should be part of our agenda. And we are very happy also on this field to uh, uh, further engage uh, with the regulators and political bodies. The fourth, the fourth item we've tried to be selective uh, is, of course, regarding digital banking. 
And when I, I say this, and when we think about digital banking, it's not just about, uh, I think, what we've been discussing, uh, the, the challenge for all banks to adapt uh, and the way to adapt. And here again, we might be able to uh, think about uh, best practices, but it's also about uh, all the regulatory environment, all the legal issues. And I think we should remain very humble when we think about these issues and uh, avoid having so much, uh, too many certainties. And uh, when we think about, again, the world in 15 years' time, uh, beyond economic uh, and political issues, again, how people will react, how uh, the, the, the social issues uh, regarding uh, the usage of data, the, the, the private protection of data, I think it's uh, something where there's more investment to be done, and again, I think the EBF can here try to share ideas, opinions, and insist on what should be also at the core priorities of uh, the regulators and the governments. Needless to say, as part of that, cybersecurity, as we all know, is going also to be one of the most important topics. And uh, I think here, beyond what we can do uh, in each of our bank, there's also a need, I think, to have some uh, uh, more collective initiatives and, of course, a strong dialogue with public authorities. These are the four main priorities uh, we, are, uh, we have decided uh, for 2015. Uh, and I just would like to say that I think the uh, EBF will do a, a great job and will be a key, uh, as I've said, institutional challenge, ch ch uh, channel for establishing the dialogue between uh, uh, the public authorities in the industry. Uh, a last comment. May I say as a banker, and we've seen all the challenges, but we should look at these issues with a lot of positive energy. Uh, I'm personally very proud after 20 years in banking in Société Générale and after seven years of crisis, I'm very proud to be a banker. And I always look at these challenges as of course difficult Yes, the challenges are there, but at the same time, absolutely fascinating. And I've never seen a competitor winning a competition with no positive energy, determination, and ambition. And so we'll have that going forward. Thank you very much. <laughs>